So we only got a few weeks left to finish this. We made some pretty good progress. Not gonna happen in two, two, three weeks. Ain't gonna happen. No, we're definitely gonna get this done. The motor's still in there. That one's over there. You got all them wires to hook up. That ain't gonna happen. Oh, it's definitely gonna happen. So the progress we made so far on the project is we got the lift up, we have the engine pulled out of the C10, and now we're prepping the engine. So doing the paint on the engine, then gonna work on the lifters, DOD delete, and that'll be this next step. So the teardown on the C10, we took the engine out, the transmission out. We were gonna reuse a turbo 350 that was in the truck, which you could totally use in there. We have the little adapter ring for that, but we opted for the eight speed transmission. That way we had more gears for cruising on the highway and a little more low end on it too for, you know, donuts and fun things. So right now we're cutting out all this foam. Just trying to get this out of the way because it looks like hell. So this piece was solid going down, so I just cut a hole on it to get the lines in. Well, thank you, whoever put this in there. We really appreciate that. So the main thing to remember about these is the MLS gaskets, the multi-layer steel. Don't touch the gasket. I know it's going to be really tempting because you pull the head off and it starts accordion and it looks like, oh, I'm just going to help it out. But it's going to cut the shit out of you, so just don't touch it. <laughs> Look at this. I just split the socket on it. Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I broke this Whoops. off this time. Oh man, this is the impact rated one. Look at that. It is. Just need the right tool. So at this point, we're going to take our oil pump off and get our cam gear off and all our timing stuff off so we can start getting this cam out. First, before we do that, we're going to install our oil pump alignment tools. So that way when we put this oil pump back on after the install, we'll make sure we get this oil pump in the right spot. So I started to align this, but I wanted to show you guys there's a dimple here on the crank and there is a arrow here on the cam gear. I want those to align and when those align, this cylinder should be at top dead center. That's how we know we're all in the right spot. So when we take this stuff off, we can put it back on in the correct orientation. So I'm going to go ahead and get the cam gear bolt out. And then after we get that stuff out, I can get the timing chain guide out and we can start getting this cam out. So we got the thrust plate off. So we have our cam install and removal tool here. I'm gonna thread it into the cam and we're gonna pull out on this cam and get it out of here. I'm not gonna look at the cam bearings because if you look at the cam bearings, they'll go bad. So they're good. All right, we got our BTR cam here. I'm gonna put some assembly lube all over it and we're gonna get this in the motor here real quick. Since we have our new upgraded lift cam in our motor, we're gonna do the necessary thing of upgrading our springs as well to handle the new taller lift of the cam. We're getting this block ready to do a little painting on it. So we're gonna cap off the holes just so we don't get paint down in the holes or down in the water pump. So we've taped off a few things here. So this here, we're just gonna put the gasket on it and then cover up the holes for the water pump. 
So now that we got our water pump blocked off on the engine block, we're gonna do the same with the exhaust and block it off. So we make these plates specifically for painting. So if you're gonna paint your engine, you want it to look nice and clean and not fill up the holes or go down in the engine. So I've got my LL7 lifters. We're about to put in this LT1 engine. So we need to soak them in oil. So I'm just gonna cut a hole in this, dump them in, let them soak for a bit, and then install them in the engine. It's important that they're full of oil. That way when you start the engine, that there's oil like already in the system. So we don't wanna have a dry start. So this is our 2014 to 2018 Gen 5 LT valley cover. And this specific one is meant for retaining direct injection. So it's got your fuel pump hole and your fuel line mount right here. So to prepare the engine, we took it apart, painted the block. We're doing the DOD delete. So we took all the lifters out, changed those to non-DOD and put in the new camshaft. So the next step for the build is to put the engine in now that it's all prepped and put on all of our ICT billet goodies that look amazing on there, if I might say, and get all the accessory brackets after the engine's mounted and the trans, and hook all the linkages and wires and hoses up, and get to go test it out and hear it run. Thanks for hanging out with us on this project. Look, I get it, this part's kind of annoying, but smashing the like button, subscribing, and hitting the bell really helps us out. Trust me, you're not gonna wanna miss out on what's coming next. Stay tuned for more awesome projects.